Welcome to my talk on Cassay.jl, a fresh approach to open source voice assistance development. I'm Samuel Lomi, computational scientist and responsible for Julia Computing at the Swiss National Supercomputing Center. Oh, I just realized I forgot to finish the welcome slide. I'm very sorry, let me quickly do that. Await that say it. Double. No. No. Select. Okay. Type text. Welcome to my talk on an old and rotten approach to closed source voice assistant development interrogation undo undo a fresh approach to open source voice assistant development exclamation paragraph language French Bienvenue à ma présentation sur une nouvelle approche au développement d'assistants vocal à code source ouverte Exclamation Parle Langage Espagnol Bienvenidos a mi presentación sobre un nuevo enfoque. You certainly noticed that I did not only control the keyboard, but also the mouse button by voice, and wonder why. Oh, here's the story. Beginning of last year, I injured my hands and couldn't work for a while. So to get back to work at full team as quickly as possible, I started to experiment with voice control for productive work. In particular, I needed to replace these dry mouse clicks with voice commands. But well, being a Linux user, I was quickly terribly frustrated. I could not find any voice assistant project that would let me do these simple mouse clicks or just add this functionality in an easy enough way. So well, funny enough, I had to take this problem into my own hands and just take it with one. I realized at that point the following. Leading software companies are heavily investing in voice assistant software, but the developments are naturally profit driven. So, as a result, the needs of academia and software development are only poorly covered, in particular in Linux. The open source project Micro supports Linux, but its focus is also rather on entertainment, and adding new skills requires considerable understanding of the project specifics. To say it addresses these shortcomings by providing a lighted framework for easily extensible, offline, low latency, highly accurate, and secure speech to command text translation on Linux, Mac OS, and Windows. It leverages the voice recognition, uh, speech recognition toolkit, which supports over 20 human languages. Let me immediately show you how easy it is to add a new command to just say. Let's program and use a simple version of the infamous weather forecast search application. After using just say, just say the API, and also other packages, the first step is to define our weather forecast search function. So we define with its optional documentation describing how it's supposed to be used, saying whether today or whether tomorrow, so it gives us the forecast for today or tomorrow. And then we decide to create an enumeration part day which can take the value today or tomorrow. Now we have the function weather, which takes the day as an argument. So it's a fully standard Julia function. In the function body, use the package default application to open the website, and uh, I won't go into details here. Then we annotate this function with the voice arc macro to specify that the argument day can be obtained by voice, and that just say it should automatically define the valid input, the valid voice input, based on the argument time. Note that the valid voice input is of course today or tomorrow. Now the second step is to define a command name to function mapping, defining what words will trigger the function we want to use. We use weather to call our new function and help to call the provided function help. 
Um, then the third and last step is to call start with the just find command line to function map. After this extended introduction, I'm now going to explain some key features of just say and we'll then finish with conclusions. Alright, mapping of command name to functions or keyword shortcuts. Before I see an introduction, how to map command name to functions. And now note that the actual function objects are used in this mapping. So this allows to map any function in scope. Then command name can also be mapped to keyboard shortcuts in another fashion, as you see there in red. Now the key tuples that define a shortcut will simply be passed to a function that presses them in the right order. So a command choice between maximum speed or accuracy. By default, command names are written as maximum accuracy, which requires ready for latency speed. However, for some commands, not clicks, it's crucial to have them triggered with minimum latency, meaning immediately after being spoken, after bare recognition of the corresponding sounds without waiting for silence. The max speed subset keyword argument enables that. This approach, together with careful performance optimization, enables single word command latency in the order of a few milliseconds, measured on a regular notebook. What speech to text? Command type enables the dictation of full text, simple words, letters, or digits. Now, each of the modes supports a set of keywords, which can trigger some immediate action or just modify the handling of subsequent speech input. A particular just say speech to text approach is a strategy for the recognition of these keywords. The speech is analyzed in word groups, which are naturally delimited by longer silences. And then the keywords are only considered as such if the word group does not contain anything else in keywords. Now, this allows to determine whether a word is recognized as keyword should trigger some action or be typed instead. And this smart keyword analysis is enabled by uh, passing the speech through a specialized high performance keyword recognizer before passing it further to a second recognizer, which is then appropriate. To the dictation mode. Fast command programming is what argument function. Before I see in the introduction of fast and easy that is, numerous keyword arguments can be defined for each voice argument, just seeing the help of some information. For voice arg functions, just say it automatically generates a wrapper method that takes care of the complexity of retrieving the arguments from the speaker's voice. And this includes interpretation and conversion of the voice argument to potentially any data type. Now, existing just say commands are also implemented with these uh, voice argument functions. High performance context dependent recognition algorithm. A specialized high performance recognizer is defined for each function argument that is explainable by voice and has a restriction on valid input. In addition, it is beneficial for recognition accuracy. The recognizer for a voice argument is generated dynamically, depending on the command path taken before the argument. This ensures a fast, accurate, and secure command recognition. Uniting the Julia and Python community. The state unites the Julia and Python communities using both languages. It leverages Julia's performance and meta programming capabilities and Python's larger ecosystem. The VOS speech recognition toolkit. C++ library is used to create convenient Python bindings. Uh, just say you like on PyCall and ChronoJL in addition, and this renders the installing and, and calling of Python packages from the Julia almost trivial. Now, all Python dependencies are fully automatically installed into an isolated Python environment thanks to that. Also, standard Python library models are used in a few occasions. So here, for example, for extracting files from a downloaded language model. Conclusion. The voice has macro, which declares arguments in standard Julia function definitions to be found by voice, constitutes an unprecedented high generic extension to the Julia programming language. Then, specialized high performance recognizers enable low latency, accurate, and secure command recognition. Word group based keyword analysis enables smart speech and text. And finally, just say it is ideally suited for development by the worldwide open source community, as it provides such an intuitive high-level API that is just readily understandable by any programmer and also unites the Python and Julia community. Thanks for your attention.
Now head to GitHub Red Bull and try this out.